Good morning, I'm Brianna Stubler. A Nobel Peace Prize winner is in Columbia today talking about international ethics. Jody Williams will address the public later this afternoon at Columbia College. Williams was awarded the 1997 Nobel Peace Prize for her efforts in outlawing anti-personal landmines. She'll be the keynote speaker for the college's annual Schiffman Series in Ethics, a seminar in its 15th year. The chair of the event said Williams is a great example of how a single individual can make a big difference. William's speech is free and will be held at Lawner Auditorium at 7.30. Missouri is the only state without a prescription drug monitor monitoring program. Three bills are moving through the state legislature now, but Columbia isn't going to wait. Next month, Columbia health care providers will have a prescription drug monitoring database. The city council approved an ordinance to join St. Louis County's PDMP. Opponents cite privacy as a major concern, but local officials are sick of the excuses. St. Louis County's program includes Jefferson City, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Only health care providers in participating cities can use the database. The Today Show will be right back, but first, a live look out over Lake of the Ozarks. It is 928 on your Wednesday morning. Good morning, I'm Brianna Stubler. Strong winds caused tornado-like conditions in parts of Missouri recently, but in other parts of the nation, these winds have fueled deadly fires, killing four people and forcing thousands to evacuate. Fires in Kansas, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas burned hundreds of thousands of acres, destroying homes and closing highways. Firefighters might have an easier time containing the flames today, as high winds are expected to ease. Dry prairie-like conditions and high winds have contributed to grass fires getting out of control. Today is International Women's Day and some plan to celebrate by participating in a day without a woman's strike. Organizers of the Women's March on Washington encourage women to stay home from work, shop only at small, women and minority owned businesses, and wear red in solidarity. Organizers say the day is for recognizing the value women add to the economy even as they receive lower wages and face inequalities. In Missouri, rallies are scheduled as well. Thanks for watching. The Today Show is next. But first, a live look out of the Ozarks. Good morning, I'm Brianna Stubler. A new report shows Missouri's unemployment rate is on the decline. According to the Missouri Department of Economic Development, new data shows unemployment dropped to 4.2 percent in January. This is a 0.3 percent lower compared to last year at this time. Additionally, over the past year, 10,000 jobs have been added in Missouri. And when compared to the rest of the country, Missouri is slightly better. The national unemployment rate was 4.8 percent in January of this year. Most of Missouri's teacher preparation programs are making the grade. That's according to a new rating system by the Education Department. Education certificate programs at Stevens College were in the top tier. MU Columbia College and Lincoln University education programs were in the top two tiers. Some William Woods University programs were in the top tier. Thanks for watching. The Today Show is next. And tune in at noon.